make sure you shake out the water or you may find it drips on embarrassing parts of your clothing. Normally when a candle burns, the hydrogen and carbon in the candle wax react with oxygen in the air, creating water vapor and carbon dioxide. However, when the candle flame touches the engine, it's cooled before the full reaction can occur. So it deposits carbon on the underside of the engine. You should wipe it off every once in a while, or else it will flake off and get on things. It's used to make black ink, and it will stain light-colored clothing. Use a small piece of wet paper towel to wipe it off. Make sure it's wet. And throw it away before it gets on tabletops and things. A little bit of heat can get the old candle out. And it might help fasten the new one so it stays in. Now that you've made and tested the engine, the quickest and easiest way to make a boat for it is a recycled foam grocery tray that vegetables, meat, and poultry are packaged in. Alternately, you can make a hull from a beverage carton. I think it runs a little faster, but it takes a little longer to make. You can even make a deck for that style. If you start with the foam boat, the engine is only held on with rubber bands, so you can simply take it out and transfer it to a milk or juice carton if you decide to do that. When you are done running an engine, shake out the water and wipe the set off. Decide if you want to make a simple flat boat from a foam tray or a three-dimensional boat from a beverage carton.